Hello, welcome to Cards by Kate Fletcher. Today is the day that I have been waiting really impatiently for, for like over a week. Um, last week I had my operation and I told you all that I had bought myself a cheer me up present after the op and it's come. So I'm gonna get it out of the envelope and show you. Now, if you are a regular to my channel, you will know how much I love Craft Consortium and Hell's Couple Ditch collections. And guess who released a collection literally the day after my operation? Oh yes they did! So I've treated myself. Um, I've put some of it to one side for a minute um, and I've not looked at anything. Uh, so we're going to go through it all together. Now um, Craft Consortium launched this collection the day after my operation. It was on Create and Craft and I literally didn't watch. It was so hard not to watch because I couldn't do anything else but sit and rest. Um, but I didn't look. Um, I've seen a few things on the Craft Consortium Network, which is their Facebook page, where people can post what they've been making with the Craft Consortium projects. Um, so I've seen a few things on there. I've also seen a few things on the Hell's Couple Ditch illustration page, um, but I haven't seen anything about the papers or um, really what's included because I literally, I like the surprise, I like to open it and I like to do it on camera and film it so you get an honest reaction as well because I think that's nice. Um, so we're going to go through this. Now there is a difference with this collection that we didn't have on previous collections and that is that we now have a little 6x6 six six pad as well as the 12x12 12 12. um so I'm, I'm sure it will be exactly the same papers inside just smaller but that's really nice so we'll go through the 12x12 12 12 and then I'll show you the other bits and pieces now I did get the complete collection you can get it from craft consortium direct you can get it from create and craft i got mine from craft stash and i actually managed to get 10 pound off because i had a voucher code and i also had points to spend so that was nice so the collection is called cottage garden um and it is a lovely spring looking at the front i would say collection you've got really cute little animals you've got little bunnies you've got the little bed sitting on watering hands and spades you've got mice riding in wheelbarrows don't normally not like mice but these ones are cute look you've got a little bee uh, you've got a mouse carrying the seeds so we'll have a flick through this pad and then we'll move on to the rest so it's a 12 by 12 pad. It has 40 double sided sheets. They are 200 GSM and there are also some 150 GSM pearlescent papers. They're all acid free and with elegant effects. So let's have a little look. So the front page, first of all, and this is something else I like about Craft Consortium you can cut these out you can fussy cut them and you can use these on your projects which i think is really really nice okay let's have a look i'm so excited so the first thing we have is these strips of little look how cute these are i love the lure it's got the little like mother's day pot there you've got the archway here under can't think what that's called but uh, it's not grapes it looks like it could be grapes but it is a flower i can't think how cute and then there's the little bird sitting on the watering can this mouse looks like it's talking to the bird on the flower but look isn't this just the most adorable thing you've got the bird nesting in the wellies you've got the green potting shed there then down here we have a bunny. Looks like it's about to have a conversation with a bee. We've got the cute little birds on the beehive. And look, isn't that just so adorable? It's holding the bird. I love it. And what I'm thinking is I've got some um, 
beach huts from the Beach Life collection, which was again a house couple ditch collection that would probably work with this, looking at that one there. There's also in Beach Life a green stripy design on the Beach Life pad that would coordinate with this based on the, the house there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's look over here. So this is like your scene and it's gorgeous look you've got the little cottages there then you've got like the garden scene and then down the bottom we've got almost like all of it combined that's beautiful i love it so you get a good selection of these so that you're not afraid to use them because you all know me i don't like to use them i just like to stroke them so that's good i've already got an idea for these i know exactly what i'm doing with these and i know what i'm going to do with those that's the thing i love about these papers oh my god look <laughs> sorry it's the thing i love about these papers as soon as you see them you're inspired i love it look at these bees and look at the sheen on them now obviously they've got the pearlized effects oh my god isn't that the cutest thing you've seen oh love it what's on the back okay we've got same again uh i don't think they're pearlized on the back though but they're still very cute. Pearlized is definitely my favourite though. Oh, they're just so cute. Oh, oh my god! Look how pretty this is! I'm in heaven right now. Look how cute! All the bird houses, multicoloured. And then the other side is just light lime green background, but still very cute. I love it. You can see the contrast there. Oh, this is brilliant. And you could easily fussy cut those as well. Oh, look at the sheen. Isn't that superb? I love it. I don't know why. That makes me think of like biblical. <laughs> I'm very strange. That just makes me think weddings and stuff. But it's not because it's like uh, springtime sunshine, forget-me-not, nest building. It's basically all words about springtime, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at the sheen. Oh, look at the gold. It's like a mustard. I love it. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Let's just come through. Do you know what I really love about Craft Consortium? I love that they don't. <gasps> oh. I love that they don't put the sticky on the ends. Look at these gorgeous tulips. Are these sheeny as well? Let's have a look. I don't think those are. Sh no, I don't think they're sheeny. But look how pretty. See, tulips scream at me. Spring. Love, love. <gasps> Ooh, I like it. Look. Isn't that pretty? I love both of them. Yeah, tulips is spring to me. Right, what's next? <gasps> oh, we have some iridescent, kind of sheeny green polka dots. You gotta love a Hell's Couple Ditch pad. She always has the polka dots in there somewhere, but isn't that just the most gorgeous colour? It's like a almost like a mink green, paisley maybe. I don't know, but it's gorgeous. <gasps> oh wow! Look at that, and it's sheeny as well. So it's pearlescent basically. But look how pretty! You could do like a jumper card with that. You know how some men, not many, <laughs> but they have like jumpers like that. Just me then. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is better than Christmas. Oh, look, now we're back to more bumblebees. And they got pretty flowers. Not, these aren't um, pearlescent ones, but they are so cute. And it's about yellow. Wouldn't that make an awesome baby card backing? That's beautiful. I love it. Right, let's see what's next. 
Okay, so we have the grain, so the wood. Again, not sh not pearlescent, I don't think. But isn't that lovely? That'd be great for mail cards. And then, yeah. So this is the same kind of green that the Beach Life pad had that I was talking about. But I think the grain on that is slightly wider. But that is awesome. I really like that. Right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's really winding me up that I can't remember what these are called. Especially because once upon a time I was a florist, so I should flame him well now. Uh, but yeah, it's in there somewhere. But look how, and they've got like the the pearlized bit over the top. Can you see the, it's just so brutal. I love it. What's on the back of this one? What do you think? <gasps> look. So it's not got the sheen on the back, but it has the pink. So if you compare them now side by side. But isn't that just beautiful? <gasps> this is going to be so much fun to play with. And look! Got the little garden. Love it. Love it. Oh, look, and that could be like a little meadow. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I just can can you just feel the warmth coming off the page at you if you close your eyes and you can just imagine it's a lovely May day, laying in the meadow, warm sun, that nice fresh smell of like fresh cut grass, bees buzzing around. Oh, bring it on. I'm so done with this cold, horrible weather. Oh, this paper just gives me hope for what's to come. <laughs> Isn't she just the most talented person? And Craft Consortium, I just love them. And look, we've got more things to fussy cut on the back page. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? And even on the back, look, we've got a couple more scenes we could cut out and then on the back there's a little bit about um a house couple ditch don't know if you can see that so the great thing about craft consortium is they do nurture and look after artists and i think that's in this day and age something really powerful about a company so yeah love that so that is the 12 by 12 what do you think are you loving it Oh my word. And look, here's the 6 by 6 So it's all exactly the same, just kind of in miniature, which makes it even cuter. But look, let's have a look at... Look how adorable. I know exactly what I'm doing with those. And these... Are these still pearlescent? Yeah, these are still pearlescent. Look at the little butterflies. Um, butterflies, what am I talking about? Bumblebees go. Isn't that just so cute in miniature? And the great thing is, it means I will now not be sad about using either or because I've still got the backup. Fantastic. Right, let's put that aside and look at the rest. So we get some stamps. I'm just pulling out some other bits. Actually, let's do this first. So this is the decoupage kit you get 10 sheets in here let's see what we get let's have a look okay so we've got the adorable bird nesting in the welly boot we have two of those look, we've got the mouse who's talking to his friend and he's got his seeds i love that Got the bird on the watering can. Oh, we've got the Mother's Day mouse. And that's what I'm going to call that. I'm sure that's not what that one's called, but that's what it makes me think of. So we have Mother's Day mouse. And look, then we have the bird on the watering can. So we have two of those. Now that's interesting because... 
because in past ones we've had two sheets of um well, I haven't missed anything, have I? No, we haven't. So in past collections they've done, like the Polar Playtime, for example, you had a sheet of just characters from the pad that you could pull out and put in projects, but they haven't done it on this. But I quite like, A, the change to be fair and I like that we've got all the really cute little characters to decoupage so it's not really bothering me that I don't have the standalones this time because I love that I've got the scenes I can decoupage so I love those I think those are super cute now let's have a look at the stamp sets I don't know if these are named I'm just having a look they might be, and I'm just not seeing it, so no, I don't see a name anywhere. So the first one we have, we have this gorgeous cottage, which actually reminds me of the Daisy May cottage, but they're totally different. I don't think I've got one to compare, but uh, yeah, beautiful little cottage. And we have the sentiments, home, sweet home, new home, and cosy. And then we have a bunch of daffodils and a little bee. So that's really cute. And how good would that be for new home cards? I love that. I don't really have much new home stuff. Then we have this one. Again, I'm not really seeing... Um, I'm not seeing any names on these. So I can just show you. So this has got the potting shed on it. It's got a packet of seeds. It's got the really cute mouse that's talking to the bird. We've got the shovel in the ground there. And then the sentiment on this is trespassers will be composted. <laughs> That's brilliant. And it's spring. We got so excited we wet our plants. <laughs> if you've got a gardener and if you like punny sentiments, that is pretty great. And I know a few gardeners, so these are going to be well used. Then look, we've got the really cute birds in the wellies. We've got the nesting boxes. We've got some birds we can cut out, like stamp and cut out. We've got the beehives and the bees. And then we've got kisses here. We've got birds and the bees. And we've got, I'm buzzing for you. <laughs> How great is that? And the last one, we have a nice picket fence, which is going to be really useful. We've got the bunny under the one that's really annoying me because I can't remember what it's blooming well called, and I should. We've got the bird sitting on the uh, fork surrounded by the tulips. We've got another little shovel there. We've got the cute Mother's Day mouse. Uh, and the sentiments on this is bloom and grown with love. How gorgeous are they? So I love those. They're going to be fun to play with. And then the ephemera that we get with these. We've got wooden shapes. We've got the cutest little bees. And we've got our gorgeous pearl dots again. So let me show you these bumblebees. Look how gorgeous they are. And to give you an idea, they're about the size of my little fingernail. I don't know if you can see that. But they are just adorable. I can't wait to use those. They're too cute. Then we have our adhesive pearls. Look how gorgeous they are. I love this colour here. That's beautiful. And I love that purple. So they will get very well used. And you get 80 there. And we have the wooden shapes. So let's see what we have in here. We have a green potting shed. We've got the seed packet. We've got the gorgeous little house. Oh yay, we've got my Mother's Day mouse. I'm sure that's not his proper name, but that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> 
got the birds in the wellies. We've got a little picket fence. Do you know, they could have just brought that out on its own and it would have sold because who doesn't love to make lines of picket fences when they do 3D projects? We've got the beehive with the birds on top. <laughs> little shovel, how cute. And we've got the bird boxes and uh, a bunch of daffs. Isn't that cute? gorgeous I think that is it okay so that is it that is the complete cottage garden collection from house couple ditch and craft consortium I cannot wait to get into this and start creating um, so just to recap you can get this collection from craft consortium direct you can get it from Create and Craft, or you could, I don't know if they still have it. Craft Stash have it at the moment, but these collections always sell out super quick. So if you want to get in quick, um, some great sites for sharing what you make with this stuff is the Craft Consortium Network. It's run by the design team and everyone is super nice on there. Everyone's really supportive and friendly and you don't need to be worried about putting anything on there. It is a public group though. So if you're making things for Mother's Day, uh, maybe don't post them up there yet because if you have your mum on Facebook and she's, um, she'll probably see, <laughs> but you can always post it afterwards. Um, and the Hell's Couple Ditch Illustration Group, again, it's a public group, but again, it's very um, supportive, lots of lovely people. And um, Hell's Couple Ditch will always like and comment on the post because she loves to see what people create with her creations and, you know, what she's giving us to play with. So, um, yeah, and also Instagram, tag away on Instagram. Um, Again, they all acknowledge you on there, which I think is really, really nice. Um, you know, we're spending our hard-earned money on these products, and it's really nice when you tag the company or the creator even on something like Instagram and they take the time to acknowledge you, and I think that's really nice, which is another reason why I like Craft Consortium and why I love House Couple Dish, because I just think they're genuinely quite nice. So that's it. If you've liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you are a current subscriber, you will be used to my overexcited squealings by now <laughs> when I show you these kind of um, collections. Uh, but if you're new, please do subscribe um, and ring the bell for notifications because whenever there's a new one of these, you'll get notified and you can come and have a little giggle and you'll see the beautifulness that has been created. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I guess you know what I'm going to be making. Mother's Day stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll be back soon with more videos. So have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and take care. I will be back really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.